marriage is a sacred institution and based on human society and should be held in high honor among all men and women. We are assembled here in the presence of God to join this man and this woman in holy marriage. Was instituted by God, regulated by his commandments, and blessed by our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us therefore reverently remember that God has established and sanctified marriage for the welfare of happiness and mankind. Our Savior has declared that a man shall leave his father and mother and cleave unto his wife by his apostles. He is also instructed those who entered into this relationship to cherish a mutual esteem, love, to bear with each other infirmities and weaknesses, to comfort each other in sickness, trouble, sorrow, and honesty, to provide for each other and for their household and temporal things, to pray and encourage each other in things pertaining to God and to live together in grace. Who give this woman to be? For as much as these two persons have come to this house of worship to be made one in a holy relation of marriage, it is understood that neither of them nor others present are aware of any just reason why these two persons may be lawfully joined. I charge you both before God, Father, the search of all hearts, and if either of you know of any reason why you may not be lawfully joined together in matrimony, you do now make it known. For you should any person be joined together. Otherwise, in harmony with the will of God, their union is not blessed of him. Is there anyone that has any reason? If not, favor hold your peace. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. Thank you for these two coming together, for the Jeremiah and Ashley to join their life together in the presence of God. Be in peace. God, we thank you for your joy. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. God, we ask you to grant them full understanding of their new relationship. Enrich their lives by the grace that they may enjoy the comforts and undergo the cares and do the trials. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Brother Jeremiah, do you solemnly agree before God and all these witnesses to take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife, to love her, to respect her, to honor her, to cherish her in health, in sickness, in prosperity, in adversity, also leaving all others to keep yourself only unto her as long as you wish your both be. Now I want you to turn and say it to her. Look at right line. All right. <laughs> Ashley, do you in the light manner? Promise and agree to receive this man as your lawful wedding husband, to respect him, to love him, to live with him in all faith and in tenderness, in health, in sickness, in prosperity, in adversity, leaving all others to keep yourself only unto him as long as you both shall live. And your answer. I do. Look at him again and say, "All right." Jeremiah, you first. I want you to repeat these words. I, Jeremiah, take you, Ashley, to be.
be my wedded wife. I do promise and covenant before God and these witnesses to be your loving and faithful husband in plenty and in want, in joy, also in sorrow, in sickness and in health, as long as we both shall live. <coughs> I shall repeat these words. I, Ashley, I take you, Jeremiah, take you, Jeremiah to, be to be my wedded husband. I do promise, I do promise. and covenant before God, before God and these witnesses, and these witnesses. To, be your loving to be your loving and faithful wife, and faithful wife. in plenty, in want, in, in, in joy, in sorrow, in, sorrow. in sickness, and in hell, as long as we both shall live. At this time, maybe you have some wedding vows you want to say to each other. I love it. Do we have the <laughs> Thank you, sir. You've done an awesome job. These rings here are a symbol of love eternally. They are circled because of love never ending. As we bless these rings, just hold them back there. Father, we even bless these rings as an outward invocation, but an inward sincerity. And God, we thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, let's take those off there. Let's get our ring back. Hold them. There you go. There you go. Hold them. Up. While they are uh, tackling with these rings, let's give them a hand of praise for looking so beautiful. And
out of what each other do. Sometimes you're gonna need a break from each other. And sometimes you're gonna need a break together. By going out out of town and just having vacations and love on each other. Some days gonna be some bad days when we wanna cuss each other out. <laughs> you don't wanna say a word to get around. You don't wanna do your business. But you can't make it. This is not we get married today and divorce next week. Mm -hmm. This is until death do you fall. You can make it together. Keep on having communication. Keep on having peace. You can make it. And I will ask for our Father, I thank you for this holy matrimony. Yeah. Bless them in their life. Bless them in every area of their life, in their home. And God, you said it in your word. When a man finds a wife, he finds a good thing. Not only that, but he obtains favor. And we thank you for the favor upon their life. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 By the authority committed unto me as a minister of of the gospel, I declare Jeremiah and Ashley, husband and wife, you may kiss the